I am from How To Taxes and I'm here to help you prepare your Form 1040 when you are head of household filing status. To be considered head of household filing status, you must be unmarried, paid over half the cost to keep up a home, and have a qualifying child or dependent. In this example, you have a 13-year-old son. On the front page of the Form 1040 under the Filing Status section, check the box Head of Household with your name, address, and Social Security number at the top of the form. Also, make sure to answer the question regarding virtual currencies. In this example, the answer is no. Under the Dependent section, put your child's first and last name, his Social Security number, his relationship to you, and check the box that he qualifies for the child tax credit. On line 1, put your wages. You can find this information in box 1 of the Form W-2 that your employer sent you. In this example, it is $76,100. Put that on line 1 and carry it down to line 9 and down to line 11 as you do not have any other income or adjustments to income. On line 12A, put your standard deduction. You can see from the box to the left that yours is $18,800 for head of household. It is assumed in this example that your standard deduction will exceed your itemized deductions. On line 12B, put your charitable contributions. The maximum amount that you can take is $300 for your filing status, and it cannot include non-cash contributions. It is assumed in this example that you gave $300 or more to a charity. Add lines 12A and 12B together to arrive at $19,100 for 12C. Carry that down to line 14 as you do not have a qualified business income deduction. Subtract line 14 from line 11 to arrive at $57,000 for taxable income. Next, we will calculate your tax. You can find the tax tables beginning on page 65 of the Form 1040 instructions. Since your taxable income was at least $57,000 but less than $57,050, and your filing status is head of household, your tax is $6,842. Put this amount on line 16 and carry it down to lines 18, 22, and 24. As in this example, you don't have any other credits or taxes. Note that on line 19, it refers to the non-refundable child tax credit. In this example, you will have a child tax credit, but it will be refundable. As in this example, it is assumed that you had a main home in the United States for more than one half of the year, which will qualify you for the refundable child tax credit. On line 25A, Put your federal income tax withholding. You can find this information in box 2 of your Form W-2. In this example, it is $4,000. Put that amount on line 25A and carry it to line 25D. On line 28, we will put your refundable child tax credit. This year, Schedule 8812 must be completed. On line 1, put the amount from line 11 of your Form 1040, which is $76,100. Line 2D will be 0. On line 3, add lines 1 and 2D together to arrive at 76,100. On line 4A, put 1 if you have one qualifying child under the age of 18 and it is assumed that he has a required Social Security number. Line 4B will be left blank as you don't have a child under the age of 6. Line 4C will be 1 as you subtract line 4B from line 4A. On line 5, since line 4A is more than zero, we need to enter the amount from the line 5 worksheet. You can find this worksheet on page 4 of the 8812 instructions. Line 1 will be left blank as you don't have an amount on line 4B. Line 2 will be 3,000 as you multiply line 4C by 3,000. On line 3, add lines 1 and 2 together to arrive at 3,000. On line 4, Multiply line 4A from Schedule 8812 by 2000, so 2000 goes on line 4. On line 5, subtract line 4 from line 3 to arrive at 1000. On line 6, put 4375 from the table to the left. On line 7, enter the smaller of line 5 or line 6 to get 1000. Line 8 will be 112,500 from the table to the left. Line 9 will be 0 as you subtract line 8 from Schedule 8812, line 3. Thus, line 10 will be 0. The smaller of line 7 or line 10 will be 0 on line 11. On line 12, subtract line 11 from line 3. 
which will be $3,000. We will enter this amount on line 5 of the 8812. Line 6 will be left blank as you don't have any other dependents, thus line 7 will be 0. On line 8, add lines 5 and 7, which will be $3,000. Line 9 will be 200000 from the table to the left. On line 10, subtract line 9 from line 3, which will be 0, thus line 11 will be 0. On line 12, subtract line 11 from line 8, which will be $3,000. On line 13, you will check the boxes that apply to you. In this example, it is assumed that you had a main home in the United States for more than one half of the year. So you check line 13A. Since we checked a box on line 13, we need to complete part 1B. On line 14A, enter the smaller of line 7 or line 12, which will be 0. On line B, subtract line 14A from line 12, which will be $3,000. On line C, enter 0. On line D, enter 0, as that's the smaller of line 14A or line 14C. On line E, add lines 14B and 14D, which is $3,000. In this example, you did not receive any advanced child tax credit payments, so line 14F will be zero. Line G will be $3,000 as you subtract line 14F from line 14E. Line H will be zero, and line I will be 3,000 as you subtract line 14H from 14G. This is your refundable child tax credit. We will enter this on line 28 of your form 1040. You do need to attach the 8812 to your return, but you don't need to attach the line 5 worksheet. Carry this amount down to line 32. On line 33, add all your payments together, so your withholding plus your credit would be $7,000. If you have an overpayment on your return, put this on line 34. In this example, it is $158. Since you'd want it refunded to you, we will put that on line 35A. If you want it directly deposited into your bank account, check the type of account that you have on line 35C and put your routing and account information on line 35B and D. If you don't want it directly deposited into your bank account, cross off lines 35B and D and the IRS will send you a check directly. Make sure to sign date and put your occupation at the bottom of the form. Thank you for watching. I am from How To Taxes. Subscribe for future tax videos.